Hello, everybody. I think it's time we just get started. I was, oh, oh, oops. Got my other streaming window open. So, popping right in. And nothing, no huge amounts. It's just, just a reminder that uh, if you haven't entered the giveaway, do enter the giveaway. Because uh, this Sunday, I believe that's what we said. Saturday, Sunday, yeah. This Sunday, uh, we're doing the drawing. And I apologize if I slur any of my words. I got back from the dentist and... Um, he used some really strong stuff on me, and the left side of my face is still numb. So my tongue isn't quite working. Granted, I don't talk all that goodest anyways, because I got a dumb brain. Ooh, a deer. Don't run. Don't run. Don't run. Okay. I also need you to die. There we go. And how are you doing, Corgi? I hope you're doing well. Uh, things are getting a little ch uh oh I just lost my mouse input. There we go. Yeah, things are getting a little ch No, that looks okay. Yeah, that looks okay. That guy looks okay. Oh, he's level 12. Ooh. Is that a person's house or is that... Oh, no, that's definitely not a person's house. I'm a little surprised I don't have anybody else around me. I'm sure just getting ready to call it a night. Oh, uh, it's nice to settle in. Yeah, I'm off work now. That's kind of where I'm at with my day. I swear that animation has been sped up. Boop. Okay, wait, hold. Don't, don't run. There we go. Uh, I think the shaders are just taking a little bit of time to settle in. That's what's going on. You get to pop in for the weekday stream? Well, I appreciate you being here. Yeah, the weekday streams are always a little shorter. It's rough to want to do games and stream and anything else when you just get off work. There used to be a whole mess of cars over here, and I could steal the fuel. There is not a whole mess of cars over here for me to steal the fuel. Oh, crud. Let's see. Once human official launch. Ooh, free stuff. I'll take grenades. Let's see. Become a content creator, partner, and enjoy exclusive benefits. Da, 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 da. Okay, I don't have all the stuff to be actually become that. Oh, it's a sheep. And a gun skin. Okay, I'll take all of that. I love it when companies give out free shit just because, you know, you started playing the game. More energy links. Oh, that's good. That's for uh, the in game store, too. Uh. I don't need to discover too much about the game because I have a, a decent knowledge about it considering I'm also one of the Discord moderators. Uh, what else don't I need on me? Adhesive, any of this, that, copper, you, you, this is all heavy. Some of the seasonal stuff like these, they don't weigh anything. This do. That do, but yeah, like... Staroid, Stardust, that has no weight to it. This container has no weight to it. None of this does. Um, all my spoiled food do. If you ever want a cheesy tactic and you want to keep some of your food up, you can craft it, but don't pick it up until you actually need it, and it'll stay fresh in the uh, in the cooker. I don't need the torch anymore. Whomp. I don't need my PJs. And garbage modifiers. All right, so where's the story actually telling me to go? Right. This way.
it is such a weird feeling to have like half of my tongue numb and the other half is like fine. I think this guy sells some blueprints. Those are got Call me, I need you to stop. Thank you. Yeah, not nah, nah. That is a weird thing. That's new to me. Okay, so he says modifiers. He shows up in a lot of other places, and I think he's the one who sells um, other blueprints. It could also be Claire here. They definitely changed her face. Um, I don't really care about her goods. I just, let me see your shop. Let me see your shop. Please let me see your shop. Why are they talking so long? She doesn't have a shop anymore. Weird. I was hoping at some point in time I could buy like this stuff around here. Oh, someone's dogs are in the game. It's puppies. What is that red thing? I don't know what that is. That almost looks like something from like Berserk. That's yeah, some cash. Yeah, let's go ahead to the story quest. It is that way. Unfortunately for the third beta, I got some of it. Ooh, I need him. I got some of it right. Um, I got all the hours in, but I was just kind of exploring and dinking off, and I didn't hit the, the max level I needed in order to get this prize, so... I don't have the fizzy pop skin from a motorcycle. A little sad about that. Oh, there's a house. Ooh, it's a good looking house. That one, not so much. I feel like that's the same. Wow, I think that is the exact same house I usually run into in this area. Ooh, that guy's got the premium house. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to go look at this premium house. Oh, damn. The premium house actually gets you a workbench and a food cook. Let's get some... Uh, I wonder if those photos are put up by the player or if it's part of... It's, it's got to be part of the skin. Well, that's actually really neat. Except for that patch in the middle just looks wrong. Uh, I don't have enough logs or rocks. I forgot it demands this of you for the quest. Plenty of that. Just need a rock. Oh, rock. There we go. And just enough space to be able to build it. Okay, so the, the whole thing about a, a camp, like you get this really basic tool chest and whatnot, I can make flatbread. Don't mind if I do. Make yourself some water, a little bit of food, some materials if you happen to need it. Basic, basic weapons, basic armor. Right, it, it's it's your starting point, but it also acts as your respawn point. So if you die, you can always come back there. Now that thing there is like a premium item. Maybe I can go take a look at it in the store. Uh, please don't run me over. Let's see, is it part of the battle pass? I don't see a camp. I don't see a. What are you? I like that. Nope. 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 Okay, so I don't see it in the battle pass. Let's see, cosmetics. I got most of that. Huh? It's like a turtle. No, no. Uh, it's got this like big old teeth on it. What's this one? No, no, it's pink. Ah, you get a little squid charm. 
Or octopus. A little octopus. Or duck. Quack. Um, let's see here. Territory? Maybe this is what we're looking for. That's the outdoor set. I've got you. I know I saw it. Oh, there it is right here. Subscribe to immediately get this stuff. So someone spent a total of $5. That's actually not bad. And you get a little bit of the premium currency. Yeah, to get something like this. I don't know what those are. That's a percent let or refresh time. Reduce by five minutes. Not bad. I'm under in some kind of combat. Where are you? Oh, hold on. That's going to take like an hour. Let me get my real weapon. Not you. Not you. There we go. Should you make a difference when you use a real gun or machete? That's right. I'm going for the samurai. Early on, enemies are always weak. It's a shame I don't have a little uh, minion with me to... Oh, crud. I didn't put my butterfly in the thing. Ah, I goofed on that. Not a big deal. If I remember right, there's things in this house... I'm looking for our yellow. There we go. See, so look at the top left there. There's uh, little marks that you need. Yeah. So there's zone achievements that you have to do. Or, or not achievements, but missions that you need to do. That's so what we're kind of trying to check that off. And once you do that, if you look at the zone map... So, like, right here, it'll tell you, once I finish that off, I'll get 100 money, 200 XP, some fuel, and... How dare you? Some fuel and one of those rare materials I need for crafting. I didn't get to use that on anybody. And once you get into a place that has like a pollution, you'll notice the number on your backpack starts to go up. The higher the number, the more pollution there is. What pollution does is it causes a sanity loss. And you look at my health bar down right in the middle. I'm pretty sure you can see it. It, uh, sanity loss causes health loss. Well, a health block. I can't heal for the sanity that I've lost. I know that there's an ad starting here in just a minute, but there's nothing important coming up, so it's not a big deal. I probably should turn around and deal with you. No! Oh, there's a bug underneath me that just exploded. The original betas, they were trying to say that uh, there was like an enemy here, a hostile human, who eventually warps into like this uh, crazy boss. But it looked like they revamped that a bit to get rid of it. A little sad, but I kind of understand. Hello, Winter. It goes well. It goes well. I'm still in the, like the beginning areas. I know that, that ad is about to start, so I'll, yeah, I'll stop talking for a little bit. Ooh, I got me a blueprint. Because the Rotten Manor is done. Damn, the levels are just flowing. I completely removed the plot line that upset me too. Some of the original plot points are gone. Yeah, yeah, they just reduced it some. I said, I was a little sad to see that, but I mean, I guess I get it. A beta is not the uh, the finished game. I think we found 
player's goods. Too bad her team didn't make it, though. Look at this substance. It must have come from that Right, I forgot I needed to fight this. I didn't realize it was going to instance me. Hold on, I see chats moving. I just can't focus on that right, right this second. For obvious reasons. Just one more. Nope, nope. Two more shots in the head. Come on, come on. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. If you know a higher level character, you should get their invite code before your level 10 gives you an XP boost to level 30. Yeah, I know. Oh. I was chopping that tree. That's not a big deal. I don't mind leveling. Are you going to pop? No, oh, that's right. They're like zits. Nice and easy. Well done. I've noticed some other strange Stardust readings elsewhere. Quite similar to what we encountered here. I've marked their locations. Hopefully, we'll find the other rift anchors there. Iron River. Which one's that? Broken Delta. Wetlands. Iron River. Oh, up here, level 20. Yeah, I'm in no rush. I usually take my time with games. I could do this real fast. I'm waiting for the other people who I normally do stuff like this with to actually pop on. But I don't know what they're doing. And one of my friends, I think, has jumped back into uh, Seven Days to Die. I think it's what it's called. Not a big deal. I don't mind waiting. Roof. One of the stairs. I know I need this stuff later, so I might as well get that now. Okay, so you are the closest. I'll head there. I think a lot of the moderators are also on, uh, I think, PvP servers. Which I don't really do PvP. Not in these games. I like to just kind of, like, chill and relax. There is a lot of shit up here. Also a cliff. This is a lot higher than I thought it was. Oh, good. There's no repercussions for that. There we are. We're just pushing a bit. We have the incentive of not being lower level than our opponents with weaker gear. Ah, that is a good incentive. I know that there's a little bit of changes for PvP and PvE. Like, we don't all have the same, um, what you call them, deviant pets. Or Winians, which I'm a little sad about. They took my B away. They took my B and they put it on PvP. I think that was an attack on me because they kept sharing the B in, uh, <laughs> in the staff chat. It's probably not, but it would be funny if it was. Sunga really liked this, so we took it away. <laughs> when they combine the list, they move the deviants. No, no, it is. It did not. Uh, seasonal info features. So look, D disco ball. So we have now the the pup buddy. We didn't have that before. I don't know what's on PvP. 
So if you look through all the way down here, look at this bit. Look at this list. There's no B. There's still no B. Still no B. And we're at the bottom of the list. There is no B. Now, the crop minion is now... Where are you? I think so. There's Rain Man. He helps keeps the uh, the crops watered and growth room, which is how the territory can pre uh, proactively plant and harvest. So there's two farming minions now. There's a water one and the plant one. So I don't know if you have that on PvP. I just need to get some food in me. I also need to get some food in me. Okay, I did get some flatbread. There we are. I'll place that with you and... Wait, you have the bee, rain, and mushroom? Are you serious? That is ugh, bullshit. I'm watching my language, but still, I'm not happy about it. Took away my damn bee. I, I am actually going to bitch in that in my chat. It's been 15 minutes. I can cuss now. Sorry, I tried to also abide by uh, YouTube's rules that you can't fucking cuss in the first 15 minutes. That is a, a real thing. They can actually demonetize, or not demonetize. Yeah, I'll take demonetize. That's not a bad word. Uh, anything that is monetized if you happen to cuss within the first 15 minutes. I'm going to screen out a cuss word. Look, I want my bee. I like bees. Everyone should like bees. Also, if you're ever exploring these places, sometimes these cabinets here can have an F mark on them. It has huge amounts of loot, like what the original game you or the original betas used to have. Like how there used to be loot literally everywhere, and it was just a kind of overwhelming amount of loot. They're sometimes moved into these cat. See here, lower cabinet, open it up. If you notice all the shit here, that's where a lot of this has gotten moved to. Hear the <laughs> pressure in your mouth behind that cuss word. I can't believe they took my bees. You don't take a man's bees. You don't take a man's dog. You don't take a man's bees. Same rules. What the fuck are you? I liked it better when you couldn't talk. I don't I don't have anything for you. Okay, well, I I guess I'll go find a, a there's a note over there. Yeah, I see the the list of deviants did get changed. I get it. Ooh, silver. All right, so silver has a possibility of spawning right here. Oops. Through bill right here next to whatever the quest, the, the anchor right there. That's good to know. I can sell that later for a chunk of money. Yeah, the deviant list got big, too. Hold on, Mr. Zombie. I'm not sure if you know this, but something I found, if you go in the season goals here, I think it was under challenges. Yeah, right here. Kill 200 enemies and you get Xeno Purifier, the samurai. I don't know if he's in PvP. I do know that he's in PvE. Bunker access door. Oh, there's another player here. Yep. Which sucks because the hyper limited the amount of control things you can place. Um, 
Yeah, and there's there's typically a reason for it in games like this. There was a reason for it in Fallout 76. There's just the service base isn't there. And the more things you have that's animated, moving around, and just generally active, uh, it eats up resources. So that's my guess on, on why it's happened. That doesn't necessarily mean that this is exactly why it happened, but it's more than likely it's why. Oh, look at that. So silver can spawn in place of copper. It used to spawn in place of tin, so that got changed. So it might be able to spawn in place of any like low tier materials and maybe gold has a chance to do the same for higher tier. Again, I know I'm slurring a bit of my words. The left side of my face is still numb from a dentist visit, so my bad. Ooh, ammo. Piece of candy. I don't know if they increased it, but there used to be recipes. Oh, the stove is usable. Um, in restaurants, and what you would see is like a, a very tiny red pamphlet, and the red is very light. But if you happen to see that, pop over to it. That's how you get a cooking recipe. Bow to my will. Oh, God, my cankles. I love the way melee feels like this. Love this. Huge improvement over what it used to be. I'm happy they listened to the community saying, hey, this feels cumbersome and slow. Even the movement of the character where it like used to be like, uh, I'm moving right. Uh, I'm moving. It doesn't feel like that anymore. It feels a great. Who is rying at me? I'm fucking talking here. It, it actually feels like it's uh, uh, responsive. I really, really like the fact that they listen to the community. Uh, that was a good deal. Yeah. Oh, you're a person. Still, yeah, people. Melee was questionable. It, I wouldn't say that it was questionable. For me, it was simply unfun. And I wanted to use melee. And I, I, I flatly couldn't, right? Unless you had one of those uh, picked up items like the giant wrench and you could slam it into the ground and you did the AOE. This feels different. This feels better. It feels smoother. It feels like a melee weapon is a melee weapon, and I'm not some human walking potato trying to, you know, attack with a log. So, yeah, I like it. I like the way that they change this. And even the mouse, like my default. Oh, there you are. Even the default of that feels better. Open the damn thing. All in all, yeah, all of the changes they made from uh, uh, the beta 2 and 3 to now, I do like it. I do like the feel of it. Yep. That could have been a bad deal. Nope, oh, I'm fine. Moving, exploration. Can you get a little closer so I can just kind of like... There we go. It feels better. Uh, the requirements to search through these buildings, however, I don't remember this being a thing. I am going to go pop back to my... Uh, where's my home? Oh, there it is. Now, I need to also do things like... Sink my butterfly so I got special attacks. I can't believe I left the base without that. Disassemble my shit. Projection? What? A portable device capable of producing replicas of the user functions as a decoy that taunts nearby enemies. Oh, that's nifty. I am never going to use... Oh, oh, there's still some untranslated words in the game. Not, not a big deal. Uh, not going to use you. 
Was that a circular fire pit? Are, are you talking about my fireplace? Yeah. Yeah, it is. And I have a little waterfall. Look at this thing. Yeah, I bought a cosmetic pack. I love the sound of running water. It helps me go to sleep in my outdoor bed. And the belly rubbing is still in the game. Oh, no, no. You got to spend money. You, th you think these things are, uh, are free? Hell no. <laughs> Where is it? Let me see here. Um, territory? Bundle? This one right here. It was on sale, so I picked it up. I mean, negative 16%. Don't get me wrong. The prices are a little, a little up there. You know, my favorite part about it is honestly... Um, oh, I do have wallpapers and flooring. Oh, hold on. I have flooring. Yeah. Yeah. Let me up. Let me up. These lights right here. This comes with it. Uh, it was 1100 coins. Like it was like in between 1100 and 12. Hold on. Let me see here. Prince. So I do have. Oh, <gasps> what? I didn't know I had this. Look at that. I got premium. Premium wood. This is the kind of stuff you find at Home Depot. That's a joke. Home Depot doesn't have premium anything. Oh, I like gravel. I like gravel a lot. What the fuck? Oh, great. It's the bus. Oh, okay. Panic attack with that thing over there. Jesus. That's right. Wood flooring underneath a gravel pit. I love it. Wait, did that come with my battle pack? Okay, so territory bundles. So there's like, so like there's, this is the cutesy stuff right here. Like even that thing back there, that's right here. There's the lighting. I think the lighting is in here up there. There's, there's the lighting ice cream chandelier, right? Th this is, even if it's not your thing, this looks really nice. Then there's a, kind of an outdoor, what'd you call this? Rustic look, right? Cause it's, it's all metal, right? Iron garden chair, iron garden bench. Awning. Oh, these things right here. These awnings. Those are those are actual uh, cosmetics. Look at that. What's down here? Okay, so this is just furniture. This is to make your house look all nice. I've seen someone build with this stuff. Uh, it did actually look nice. I guess that was me pulling out my weapon. Okay. Territory. Okay, so we looked at that. Then this is just a whole bunch of llamas. So basically lawn gnomes. And then plants. Oh, and I guess a wall planter. Yeah, a few wall planters here. Yeah, there's a couple of things. Then there's the meta pass, and this is where you get your camping upgrade. When I was looking at someone else's camping upgrade, uh, so like there's a there's an actual tool bench in there. If you look right there. And if you look at the right here, you can kind of see the pot right there. And it's got a cooking stove inside of it. So, yeah, the, the shop actually has some decent things. It's right there. Let's see. So, oh, this is the glass stuff. This one is absolutely expensive. I'm not going to lie on that one. It's 32, the 3,300 coins. Right. And if you look at the, the cops here. So this, you would need this pack right here, right? 3,300. So like $50, it's, it's a little pricey. I kind of want that. It's going to look corgi. I also like dig the pig. Glass house's skin doesn't actually let light through. Yeah, but it looks really nice. All 
All right, I need to dump all of my garbage. Wasn't there a sort? There we go. I pull that back in. Oh no, that's silver. It still weighs something. Not you. Okay. The one is already considering making a marble wall around our base and making it glass. <laughs> Do it. A whole bunch of wood. Okay, so I need to oh, claim some of this shit. I had enough journey things to level. It's crazy. I need that. Ooh, ooh, hold on. There's a new reward here. Ow. Battle pass. This is moving pretty quickly. I kind of wish that this battle pass, because it's only a couple of weeks, is uh, was just a little bit smaller. Or if the battle pass is going to work into other tiers. Then I'd be okay with that. Have any questions? Let me know. So I'll try to help fill in knowledge gaps. Um, I should be good on knowledge. Should be. But thank you. Hopefully, I know enough to get myself through. Oh yeah, there's also the seasonal shop. There's one of the beds. The industrial double bed with the industrial desk. A chandelier and a llama. Ooh, that's right. There's also new blueprints in here. The pinkish wallpaper, white white plaster ceiling, a couch. Yeah, so here's some of the other stuff. You, uh, if you didn't know about this, you use your uh, in-game star crown for all this. You loot exclusive name cards with the Mitsuko's marks. Got to lurk, have a demon to kill, land players to make cry. <laughs> Sounds good. Lurking is always welcome. Season inheritance. The following items we directly inherited to the new season. Starcrom, Crystal Gin, Mitsuko's gear blueprints, furniture formulas, cosmetic actions and name card titles, character customization items, building blueprints, main story, side story, and journey's progress, friends. Huh. Oh, there's actually a button that explains literally all of it. That this this is a lot easier than I ex expected. The following supplies can be moved to the Eternal Land at the start of the scene. Players can strategically select some of the resources to bring with them on their new journey: weapons and armor, ordinary resources such as materials, medicine, and ammunition. Content and data not mentioned above, such as levels, energy links, maps, strongholds, exploration progress, and seasonal goals progress will not be inherited. It's it's right there. Oh, there's some streamers making a huge deal about this, not uh, knowing what would happen here. That actually doesn't sound that terrible. Still not sure how to do this. Obtain one mark for the current year by completing season goals. Oh, is that what comes in here? No. Here? No. Here? No. People still piss pirate software were not. Not everyone he got up to the eternal land. They had to release a statement yesterday. Um I mean I can understand people's frustrations as well. Yeah, no, I, I got you. I understood. Right? And then it's good that the company hears that and says, hey, you know, let us...
correct some things that may not be understood. Let us make things clearer for people. And that's good, right? Especially if you have a big name, like like Pirate Software, for example. And he's giving out, you know, this information that this isn't clear to me or I don't understand this. And that kind of makes sense because you and I are, are a little different in the fact that we've been in the previous betas. We have that knowledge ahead of time of things to do, how to do it, and what to do. He's jumped in and doesn't. So it's nice to see that he had his complaint and the company can go, hey, this is how things are done. This is why they're done this way. The seasons fit the lore. It's good that they reached out and said, look, this is the way, the, the why that everything is done and the how of things are done. And this is what you get to keep. So they're hearing him. They're hearing other people. And they're responding. That is, to me, a good sign. It means that the company is going, hey, we hear you. Let us correct, you know, some things that you may not have correctly. Or fully understand. So I'm all for misinformation being corrected in, in, in a proper way. Oh, the wish machine is just a button now. What? I didn't know that. It doesn't help this chat was full of people who scream and throw tantrums about how horrible everything is because we can't bully people. You know, that that actually brings it back into an interesting conversation they had with someone else. Uh, it, this goes into Final Fantasy. And their complaint was they want to be able to... I guess... The, the right terminology might not be this, but this is essentially what it boiled down to to me was I want to be able to harass people if they're doing bad, right? And the whole Final Fantasy thing of the MMO was like, don't do that. Just be kind. I'm all for the fact of toxicity like that being removed from games because we grew up, I'm sure you did too, with things like Call of Duty and the amount of language that we grew up with that became normalized I don't think was a good thing it's nice to see that it's not being accepted in, in games like this as well like there there's all kinds of games out there that has toxicity go there but yeah it, it's it's a di completely different mindset of people Now, if they were to, uh, oh, I got another Digby boy. Now, if they were to open up a test server and say, like, this is going to be test um, open PvP, I would love to see how that's handled. I would actually watch that with interest uh, j just to see how people act, you know? I wonder how many people would just camp lobbies and how that would be countered because my my understanding with things that happen like that is that people are going to do nothing but camp lobbies i mean i've seen it oh i need glass okay i still need glass yeah let me up i need oh Got plenty of charcoal now. Oh, Orban is a big believer. Talk shit, get hit. Now, yeah, I'm not really a, a, a shit talker on people. That's not true. I shit talk myself a lot, like a lot. That is a really awkward place to put that material. Oh, hey, the cars are back. They weren't there the last time I looked and I needed fuel. I'm not I'm not arguing or, or disliking the fact that they're back. I'm happy they're back. And the one thing I'm going to give shit to the devs is that I still do not know how to get this. Give me this bike. Look at this thing. I want the lag from the flames. 
That's all I really had to say about it. Oh. Oh, I don't have it. You know, the close PvP, you have people talking new people into flogging for people, then jumping them with a higher group, taking whatever. Yes, yes, that is true. I've seen that. The funniest thing to me is when you're in a game that's PvE and I had someone who was just absolutely trash talking, being toxic, telling me to flag up. And I was just like, dude, do you realize you're in a PvE server? And like, there's just like this moment of silence. And I think he logged off because he realized um, he's in the wrong world. <laughs> or Achilles ambushed them after ambushing somebody. It's going to happen. Get in there, boy. Get in there, I'll get the Digby, boy. And now I've got people who are going to mine for me. Why is his mood immediately 100? Wait, is that like a, a glitch? No, this dude's just super fucking happy. All right, then. No, that's not ethical. That's called fair. See? You treat everyone equally. And sometimes getting treated harshly is equality. You beat a bitch. That's fair. <laughs> I need to get rid of my canned food because I am... Oh, no, wait. I need to keep that and actually use that because that's expiring. Okay, what do I need? I need to eat. You know, you're just being fair. When someone complains that they are getting camped, really, it's their own fault. All right, durability is repaired. Go dump in here the last of, I guess, my charcoal. Glass is going. I need to get something like... Yes. I see it Deadsville. I don't want to do that. There's a janitor is very passionate about chores in Citrusville. Okay. Also, Avengers create crap to be fair. You want to be evil, man. Square up and some. <laughs> yes. Well, that was one of the examples that everyone was making with open PvP, that the majority of people who play open PvP don't play open PvP because they're looking for a fair fight. They play it because they want to hammer down on lobbies, which, I mean, let's be honest, that's very common. Oh, these complete automatically. I wonder if unclicking it and clicking it just made me reset. That would be... It did. Damn it. Okay, so don't do what I just did. It, it just appeared out of thin air. And it can talk. Stay back, folks. This thing can move. That... If you guys notice the, the thing on that, that said gray water. Gray water is like... Here. What the fuck? Just appeared of a thin air. Stay back, folks. That thing can move. That's the wait. That's the that's the conversation with the uh, uh, Mr. Wish. I wonder why that just populated now. I prefer to punch horizontally. Prefer <laughs> yeah, but I mean you know what I mean. Even with flag PVP, that's always been an issue. Like. A lot of PvPers don't go after fair game. They go after the lobby because the lobby can't fight back, even if they have a decent eyes, a decent weapon. In games like this, you're going off of numbers. And the person with the bigger numbers wins. That, that's just how RPG PvP mechanics have always worked. That's why I don't care about RPG PvP mechanics. I've always been a big fan of games that are geared towards PvP, like Rainbow Six Siege, love me some Siege, right? That has much better balancing towards PvP. 
uh, it, of course, it does have issues here and there, but it's balanced for it. It's supposed to be the way it is. The call of childhood. Ooh. What is this? Oh, right. This big item for me to disassemble. There's somebody who gets one of our boys. We're going to send a crew. Yeah, and that's how I did it in WoW, too. I still remember in World of Warcraft in, um, God, places like Ashenvale. Zura. Any of those places that open PvP and had the world bosses back in the original WoW. I guess it's called Classic now. Um, one of our guildies would get hit. Someone make a call in town. And then it just started to flood in with enemies and allies, and it got nuts. And just kept growing and growing and is this it? Deviant's brother. Oh, it's just a, it's just a human deviant in there. Go away, flashlight. Okay, I hear sweeping. That's actually a quest. Shut up, V. How do I, uh, how do I make you mine? for this. Yoink. Let's see. Tasks. Nope. Nope. Not you. Express your welcome or respect for the janitor through body language. Okay. Emote wheel. That's the wrong wheel. Switch commands. Okay. Oh, oh, didn't mean to attack you. Oh, there's my flashlight. I've been helpful ages ago. That's the motorcycle. What the fuck is my emote wheel? That's my camp. Emote, emote, emote. Camp, gliding, logistics, interactions. Nope. Chat. Nope. Climbing, fishing, sit. Okay. Um. Yeah, so I'm hitting X, and if I go to, like, more, nothing happened. Oh, oh, now it's doing it. Respect. Might prove very useful, wherever it came from. No, see, like I was hitting X and then like nothing there. It wasn't okay. Awkward. It's doing it now. Like I went down there because I remember it was that's how it worked, but uh when I kept going back there it wasn't doing anything, so I figured I was doing it wrong. Yank, I took your flashlight. But yeah, thank you for the reminder. Use wave. It just said show your wrist. Uh uh.
Okay, you're new. I don't like that. Wait, sorry, I meant to melee you. All in all, I, I absolutely meant to kill you. Let's see, activate the Rift Anchor. I think I've got enough stuff. Ah, uh, okay. I did not do a lot in the first beta, or the third beta. Yeah, no, that thing scared the hell out of me. That was more of a freeze kind of scare. Please stop. Please stop running in front of me. I don't want to run you over. Wait, am I going left? Here I'm going. Okay, follow this road. Hang to the right. Got it. Run into a hay bale. Oh, this is intended. Calm down. You're okay. You are okay. No, he is not. That man just deleted himself. Lightspeed Digby, it's a glitch. I hope it doesn't ever get fixed. That's the opposite of um, uh, Depresso in Pal World. If you've never seen Depresso in Pal World, look it up. It, it is humorous. Okay, let's put my bike somewhere. It's not going to be in anybody's way. I've taken care of that or eating metal doll and that I made him mine. I have to say. Let me take a look. Ah, yes. Do you realize how special this little guy is? That would be nice, but no. That'll be right back. It can help you mine though. As long as it's fed, it will be your best friend. Our partnership is off to a great start, wouldn't you say? Take the deviation for yourself and remember to keep it in your territory. Why not? You see, I have no one but myself to look after. But you, you have a territory and containment facilities to worry about. Call it a gesture of goodwill, and I am more than happy to leave the deviation with you. My interest lies in the deviations themselves, not in the value they can provide me. Knowledge is all I crave. Sorry about that. For some reason, my thirst kind of went away when uh, whew, so I went to the dentist today. An injection. I don't know what that guy put me in with me, uh, put into me, but uh, it worked out quite well. There we go. 
invention is called shikigami, a ritual object once used in certain religious ceremonies. But now, once harnessed, it is an industrious and reliable servant. I'm sure you saw what it is capable of already. Indeed. As I said, this deviation has no malice towards humans and can be an excellent addition to the home. As long as you take care of it, it will do its best to help take care of your home. This deviation genuinely enjoys the more tedious household chores. And that is, in and of itself, priceless. Not unlike a bird with important knowledge. Huh. I was going to order some food and have it ready for when I was done off stream. But apparently I can't do that because their website's down. Damn, I really wanted a, uh, a hoagie. Oh, well. Can't win them all. All right. So my quest is sending me here. Doop. Hey, what is this? I use the funky dance when talking to people in game to sell an image. <laughs> nice. Uh, didn't I just accept the quest right here? This is the one deviant that's been contained and I figured it would have turned into something, but it never did. I half wonder if they forgot about this thing. Oh, is my objective actually out here? Nice. I'll take a look at it as soon as I can. Oh, it's Mr. Wish. You already have him. What happened? That backpack. You're a mayfly? Talk about good luck. This thing just appeared out of nowhere, jabbering on and on about who knows what. I'm... I'm not sure if it's dangerous. All right, I'll go check it out. I wonder why they took away the player voice. I wonder if that's intended or glitch. I'm talk. Well, well, well. We meet at last. Is this the same voice? I can't tell. Yeah, go lurk. Get out of here. Oh, don't be you get. Shy. We're going to make the perfect team, you and I. I can just feel it. So, without further ado, let us begin our first project. Wishes, of course. Why do you think they call me Mr. Wish? So, what is it that you crave? A powerful new weapon? Or a tasteful new garment, perhaps? Just say the word! And, for a few sacrum, the blueprint is yours! Blueprint shop? Oh! Oh, you can buy exactly what you want now. This is gorgeous. Boom Boom or the Predator. That is actually pretty sweet. Ooh, I like a cowboy hat. So, how much does it cost to make a wish now? Bum, 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 ba -da. Okay, so how do I back out? Yeah, I want to back out. It's got that gear. 
Okay, so that's got a couple of yellows in it. That's got that gear. There's Boom Boom. I would. You're going to get more blueprints if you just go the way of just chucking coins into it. But if you want something really strong, it might be better just to buy. Save and buy. That's a tough decision. It's an interesting method that they went with. They did listen to the community that they uh, that they want uh, additional options in there, so they listened. I mean, at the end of it all, that's just the best. Oh, I like your outfit. I just took a look at it. Hmm. There's all kinds of ways to get that. So if we were to look at the battle pass alone, if you go in the top tree, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's 6,000 you can get from the battle pass. And the bottom one. Ah, they don't have those in the bottom one. They do have the keys. It's something different. Okay. This is how you level up your battle pass. That makes sense. Here's the keys are for. This is it right here. Original Guardian of Good Fortune. So you got the keys, you can buy this stuff. Let's see. Are there other ways to get... No, I don't see any star chrome in here. No star chrome in here. Or the twitch drops. No star chrome in here. Okay, so th there's absolutely no pay to win. We do see that. Ah, here's another way to get some star crumb right, right here. Follow the official YouTube. That's 180. Their TikTok, their Facebook, their Twitter, and their Instagram. That's over. God. That's what, 750? Oh, that's not 750. Why can't I do math right now? 900. That's a 900 uh, star crime you can get this. That's almost another 1,000. Okay, the well, next thing I could look at is seasonal. So this. Doesn't have it in there. No, it does. Right here. Star Crown. That's a thousand. There's two thousand right here. And I'm assuming these ones each will have even more. So you could save up a lot if you wanted to. I don't see any in here. Does it have new rewards? Oh, I got keys. Oh, look at that. There's also keys available up here. And I'm getting a lot of the battle pass levels, and I'm not doing a damn thing. Survey with rewards. Hold on. There's even more. At least like the options to begin. Okay. Uh, if you go with this. Outside of the once human. I am very satisfied. You guys are listening to the uh, the players, and I really like that. What is the against something against one human? Let's see. Last of survival. Oh, last island of survival. What is that? Hold on. Google. Last island of survival. Oh, yeah, that's a no. That's a cell phone game. I don't want it. Minecraft, I love me some Minecraft. Love you. Oh. 
I'm gonna go with Minecraft. It's hard to beat Minecraft. How would you rate your satisfactory with once human versus some of the games? I'm gonna put it here. I'm gonna put it here. I think that seems fair. How unlikely are you recommend here? Ten has to just like blow my fucking mind if it gets it. Why you would recommend? It's simply a fun, free to play O slash survival that anyone easily get into. How do you feel the current uh performance on bugs? I'm not seeing any bugs right now. I'm gonna say yes. Uh I live in Alaska, so this one's not really fair because all I ever have is high latency. So I'll say very satisfied. My latency is always over like one to one fifty. It's it always happens. Uh as far as crashes go, I haven't crashed. I never crashed throughout the betas either. How satisfied are you with the user's interface? Um I still have issues finding things. I'm better at clicking shit, so I'm gonna go actually go with a, Yeah, I'll go with a four. You're currently playing once human in your native language. Yes, because I'm very bad at speaking. Uh the translations are I'm I'm actually satisfied. Oh, the character controls are hugely improvement. Yes. Combat controls are huge improvement. Yes. Monster hit feedback. I'm gonna say neutral because I haven't really played a whole bunch of monsters. Hit feedback. Yes. I actually, I'll bump you there. I haven't played with a lot of monsters. That's not fair. I liked it in CBT2 and 3. Okay, ADS. I enjoyed ADS down sights. Gunplay was always fun. Overall, the shoulder aiming. Give it here. Reloading was always fine. Um, I had no issues with deviations in combat when I originally used it. Melee weapons I'm much happier with. Throwables are always fine. Weapon diversity is fine. Tutorials actually got a buff. Artistic design. I love the characters. Go here. Story character lore is a four because like the voice acting is gone in some areas so I gotta like yeah I don't play pvp so I'm neutral that's this one I don't know I'm not there yet love the exploration I like the progression map is fine audio I don't I had a bug just now so I'm going to put that here. I like the building. Gathering is fine. Survival is fine. Driving feels good. Casual gameplay is fine. Securing is okay. And please rate with two stars. Okay. That is not rated with two stars. I'm choosing construction locations. I do like the way it goes. Basic construction experience has been fine. Even with the servers just like being overloaded. Construction tutorials are okay. Let's say middle. I've played you. I've played the shooters. I've played lots of these. I've played you. I've played you. Oh. Mm, let's see here. Played a lot of Zelda, so that seems a little more fair. Oh, uh, Final Fantasy fourteen. What level have you reached in one human? Currently, I'm only here. Excuse me, I just like swap that screen because none of you need to know my age. And I'm going to swap it back now because I'm out of there. Yeah, certain things are uh, not necessary to share, like how old I am. My Discord ID is pretty easy to figure out. It's, uh, some of you are already in the Discord. Pop. All right, so that's going to be some free Starcrom. Uh, 
Oh, is it already delivered? Yep. Yep. Wow. So that's delivered immediately. That's a free 300. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Instead of doing the quest, I'm a little curious. How far can I go? Okay, my fuel is... Uh, hold on. Refuel. My fuel is good. Oh, there's a Digby boy over there. Yeah, I got my llama hat on. I've got no knee pads. My legs are exposed. I am ready for a drive. Let's just kind of see how far out we can go. A little bit of exploration. Something exploded just now. It's going through a town, so this should continue to go through. Praise the house. Yeet. The vehicle handling actually does feel better. I wonder how the Jeeps feel. I'll have to get there at some point in time. Do -do -do -do. Bop, bop. Discover a new area. Ooh, 200 XP. Okay, so uh, World Exploration also rewards you with XP. I don't know if it did that in the betas or not, but then again, Al. I, uh, I don't remember a lot of things. I still remember where the bee used to show up. Are you a jump puzzle? No, you're not a jump puzzle. But I do know one of the prizes that used to be here. So one of the areas that we used to be able to get the bee in is right here now you see that little you see the little icon on my backpack that's blinking the little white one right there that is to find oh, okay hold on I'm gonna have to go deal with this guy no 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 I want my melee okay Gotcha. All right, so that's an indicator that there's a hidden chest around you. The hidden chests are also deviants, and usually if you go pop with the Q, you can find them right here. And then you just beat the shit out of them. It turns into a normal chest. Then you can get your stuff. Ooh, gingerbread house. Wait, that just makes me invisible. What the fuck do I care about that? Anyways, gingerbread house. This might kill me. Nope, just did a little bit of damage. Everything is gravy. A fun adventure. I wonder if the frog is still in that little leapy puzzle. It might be. Uh, there's a quest there and I do not care. Let's see, if I remember correctly, it was right around here. All right, let's go see if a frog is still uh, still available, because now we know where the, the gingerbread house is. It's where the bee used to be. I cannot believe they got rid of my bee. I'm still angry about that. I'm trying not to be angry about that, but I am. Let's go see if we have a frog. Five bucks says this town looked like this even before the deviant invasion.
Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. There's world events. And in these world events, it'll give you something like this. And you sit here, and you line up. You line up the site there, right? And it gets you this little, this little reward. Some of them are super quick. Some of them take a long time. That's one of the ones that is obviously super quick. I have discovered a new area. That building right there, that's always in every game, I swear. Ooh, did I make an enemy? There's our hyper boy. I I see the car pile up up here, so the frog might be at the top of it. He's there. Ooh, that music is new. Oh shit, I've got like no chance to capture this thing. Let me on the car. Okay, fine. Securement failed. Try again. Only 9.3. This is my last chance to get myself a frog. Got a frog. Okay, so I do recall last time we were driving down. Oh, where was it? I want to say this road here. And there's a whole bunch of doors just sitting in a field, and that door had another deviant there. Take a look to see if that deviant is still available in that area. I'm happy I got the frog. Ooh. You know what else you're going to take a look at is... You are a much higher level than I am. That's dangerous. Only 22 XP for killing something a higher level than me. So what I'm looking for here is a recipe. These little chicky shacks, like little chicken, chicken huts. They can sometimes have something. So what we're looking for is a little glowing red. And I don't see anything glowing red. Okay, time to leave. He's higher level than me. I'm pretty sure he's going to kick my ass. And I don't really want to die. Okay, so no red. We're good. And we're just going to grab our motorcycle and skedaddle. seen those signs around. Uh, they might just be signs, and I'm just like reading too much into what they are. You are now in a safe zone. Oh, this is one of the cities. I love the guitar. I am happy they added that. I can't recall if this was in CBT 2 or not. I don't believe it was. I didn't play through a lot of 3 just because I didn't want to burn myself out for, you know, playing this game. And the... Video game burnout happens and everything. I mean, burnout happens in all things. It's important to give yourself a break. 
Wait, are you a peoples? Oh no, you're a zombies. I wasn't sure what that guy's intention was when he hit his brakes. Your part of me thought, can he kill me? That's the perfect traveling music right there. I'm also not in the right road. I thought I was. Maybe I am, and it's just further out. Uh, this bend kind of looks familiar. I do recall a house being like right there on the bend. There's that old oregano. It's like up ahead over here, past the Go whole no bunch further. of. Yeah! Stop! Please. Okay. No so, in the betas, and it looks like in the live game too. I wasn't fully sure of this. There is a soft lock. As the season opens up, the zones will open up to players. Uh, if I went further in there to where I was trying to get to, I probably would have died. So that still exists in the game. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. That makes sense. That's a level 43 zone. Let's take a quick peek in Great Water Camp. You know, since. Ow. Even the beaver? a glitch they never fix. Oh, that's the G from earlier. All right, so the gingerbread house didn't used to be in one of those little boxes. It used to be... I think on the side road back here, there was a car. Right there. And they would spawn right here. The disco ball and the gingerbread house would spawn right here. I don't see any player notations here. So chances are that's not true anymore. This guy has got an advanced little house. Lots of Digby boys. He knows what he wants. Damn, this game's only been on like, what, two days? Look at this guy. He's got a hell of a house. All right, I should probably head home. Ooh, I kinda tell a home. Head here. Lots of resources in this little area up here. These guys picked a good spot. There's iron, there's tin. 
I think I saw some copper back there. Lots of regular stone too. The Digby boy will, will handle out almost all of the uh, materials you need for building, but it's not bad to have some things to uh, manually farm as well. Ooh. Alright, bike is hurting. Is that creepy dude? I just want the teleport beacon. I don't care about you. I forgot about you. There's a there's a PvP event, and these these jellyfish attach themselves on your head, and you become basically it, and everyone tries to kill you, and you try to kill them. The more each of you kills each other, you get those little uh, those points, or the longer that thing is on your head as well. Yeah. Okay, so this guy doesn't have mods anymore. He only has weapon modifications or attachments. Hello, Jonathan. What have you got for sale? You have lamp. Oh, look at this. You have some really expensive shit, but you have blueprints now. Okay. That's good to know. Get this activated. So each town's vendor has the possibility of having different things. Okay, dokie. So that's about the end of my stream. Um, I am desperate for some food. I'm thinking tacos. Let me see who is on. I have got Sailor Plum. Ooh, that kind of rhymed. Oh, interesting. My draw progression has actually increased to 35%, and I didn't know that I could have that while streaming. I thought I thought you couldn't have that while streaming. Well, hey, if they made a change, I, I'm all for that. Okay, so the stream is ending. Don't forget to enter in our giveaway. Uh, the the bi monthly giveaway happens every month, the middle of the month, and it's going to be a gift card. Yay. The end of the month is going to be a game. I will have to figure out what kind of games that we are currently giving away. Um, I have not had the time to put that together. I've had other responsibilities currently like popping up, but I'll have a list up there. I'll have a list at some point. So thank you for joining me. We'll be back Saturday, Sunday. I think I'm going to do Kingdom Hearts this weekend. I do believe I said that previously. So we're still going with Kingdom Hearts this weekend. Uh, we're going to go Rage Sailor Sugar Plum. She is currently playing Outberk. What is Outberk? Oh, Storm Chasing. She's playing She's playing the, the Storm Chasing Simulator. I wonder why it's called Outberk. Is that really the name of the game? I guess it is the name of the game. It's just out BRK. All right. Well, thank you for joining me. We're going to go ahead and raid now. Uh, I apologize if you just got here because the raid, because the channel is ending today. Not ending. The stream is ending today. God, I can't think of words right now. I am extremely hungry. Again, thank you for joining me. I'll see you Saturday and Sunday.